Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Apps for Success. As always, I am your host, John Bowman. And in each episode of Apps for Success, we take a look at a different application and how you can use it for your customer success efforts. And in this episode, we're continuing that trend where we're trying to give you more tools for easing communication between you, your team, your clients, the company. To that end, the app we're talking about this month is called Screenity. Now, when we review Screenity, you may notice that it looks almost identically like Loom. <laughs> and it pretty much is the exact same as Loom, except for it is open source and it works on your own computer. It works as a Google Chrome extension. So you're not gonna be uploading videos directly to Loom's servers. Instead, you can choose to save your video locally or you can save it to your Google Drive. In either case, you can obviously save it and share it or upload it if you share it locally. I think ScreenT is a really cool application, especially for those of you who are particularly uh, security conscious. But I also like that it's kind of like Loom, but you don't have to pay anything and you still get the annotation tools, which is really great. If one thing was missing from Skitch in our last review, it's the idea to record video. And I really think ScreenT is a great option for you. If you don't wanna buy a new uh, software tool and if you're looking to potentially annotate as well as record your screen and show your face. So without further ado, we're gonna hop into the application. Well, I guess a tiny bit more ado. You know there's a joke coming. You ready? Okay. What do snowmen call their offspring. Give up. Children. <laughs> On to the application, folks. All right, folks, here we are in the Chrome Web Store for the extension called Screenity. And as you can see, it's just a screen recorder and annotation tool. Another simple app. Again, it kind of fills the gap where Skitch left off last review. As I mentioned inside of our article, this seems like a labor of love of a single developer, Alyssa X. Additionally, you may notice there were 126 reviews, all five stars, and over 10,000 people use this. So not a huge application, and you could be, you know, the cool kid on the block because you told people about it. But the way Screenity works is you have to install the extension in Chrome, and then you'll notice it's up here in the top right, this little blue dot. When you click it, you may notice it looks kind of like another application that we have reviewed, Loom. Very, very similar, except for a different color scheme. As I mentioned, this is kind of like the open source Loom. So it's free to use, which is great. What we have the option to do when you click that is you can select particular cameras or anything that's happening at any given time. The only issue is you cannot record on Chrome extension source, right? So if we come here to an actual website, and then we see the loading option, you'll be able to see the different FaceTime camera build. There we go. So we can say, use this camera. And we're gonna say, use these headphones. Then we can start recording. And when you start recording, hey, see them up there in the top left. Again, it's very, 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 very similar to Rome. Loom, my apologies, not Rome, to Loom, because you can move around, you can make it bigger you can make it smaller. Down in the bottom left, you can see we've got our video controls. We can use our uh, pointer options. So last review, I told you about this blue halo that I use called Pointer Pro. And that's just buck 99 in the App Store. I use it for all my videos so people can see it. But if you don't have Pointer Pro, you can use the cursor options here and select potentially this crosshair one. When you do, you can see every time you click, it does that nice little thing where it shows you this is where the person particularly clicked. A nice little spotlight as well. And then I actually don't know what this, uh, this don't show option is. I, I'm assuming it doesn't show my mouse. My apologies when it's doing it. Um, so I always love to use the uh, little click option. I'm hit that back button. Next has got the pen, and the pen is exactly what you think it is. The pen allows you to annotate. So we can select a pen. We can start drawing. See that? Obviously, I can take a pen and I can make it as big as I want throughout the screen while I'm recording the video, which is great. Let's bring that back down. Additionally, we've got our nice little eraser. Can erase things out. 
you can always change the color of the lines that we're drawing. You know, if we have a particular company color that we like to use, we can always do that. We can add text, words, ah. Words go here. We can even add nice little arrows. So we can say, go here, go there, go right there. Then we can destroy all this by hitting a little trash can and remove it all. We can always turn off our microphone so I can talk. So I can talk and you can't hear me. And again, the computer volume. So whatever we're listening to at the time. From there, we do have a couple more options. We can always, again, change the camera or flip the camera. So let's change the microphone. But that's not where Screenity ends, folks. Because if we pause this, you can see cancel or save. We're going to save it. And this is what the upload process looks like on Screenity. It automatically will open up a, another Chrome extension for you window. And here in the Chrome extension window, you can see we've got the video we just recorded. And on the right, we have a couple different formats that we can decide to do. Obviously, you know, uh, WebM or MP4 or GIF. We can then trim the video if we want to. We can say it starts at this time, it ends at this time. And we can remove out particular parts of the video if we like. So say I wanted to do this. Well, I'm going to click the apply option. And voila. More that options. Is not can always again change the camera. There you go. You just can play it anytime you want. Now you can always download this as well. And the final option is saving it to Google Drive. If you download it, I like to save it to Google Drive. So I'm just going to connect my account, give it a couple access options. Here we are. And it's going to save it to Google Drive for me. As I mentioned, this is maybe particularly important for those of you who are a bit more security conscious with your, uh, your, your information that you're working with, right? So you might want to only give Google access to this rather than giving it access to Loom or another third party provider because you probably already, if you use G Suite, you already give Google access to this information. As you can see, the video has been automatically uploaded here to my Google Drive. Just take a note, it is processing the video, right? So it can take a little bit for it to process. You might have to wait a moment or two. Um, we can always refresh in order to bring it in. But while it's waiting to refresh, I just want to talk about how cool it is to have an open source software like this that allows you to record screens as well as to annotate on them. Um, I really love that personally. I, it gives you almost all the features of Loom uh, at none of the cost. Again, this is a completely free application for you to use. Um, now, of course, because it is open source, in order for you to uh, to do some support, you have to go to the support option here. Now, the developer's got a website up on GitHub where you can add issues. If you're not familiar with GitHub, you just click new issue here. If you have an account, you can you know report bugs that are happening. Obviously, there are a couple bugs here, but there's not a lot. And again, it's a relatively new extension. You can see the latest bug is only about 24 days old. Um, so you can go in and try that out. And let's just refresh this. Ah, it's taking a little bit longer than that. That's okay. But the point here, folks, is again, Screenity is a nice little application that works inside of your Chrome browser. It's not going to send your data, um, you know, to a, an additional third party. It's also free and it works extremely similarly to Loom because it will show you or allow you to videotape yourself as well as videotape the screen that you're attempting to show your customers. If we give this one more second and just to have it upload, my internet might be slow today. There you go. So you can see this is, you can take this link, you know, this Google Drive link and you can share this with your customer. Um, let me just turn the volume here, but it will start the video for that particular person so that they can see, you know, exactly what you're doing and what you're saying. But that's Screenity, folks. I hope you like it. Like I said, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's really cool. Uh, I hope you give it a shot. If you have any questions or if you think of another app that we should review, please just go in the comments and let us know. Hope you're well. Having a good day. Thanks for watching.